Thanks, Andrea. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. Manuel, thanks for the invitation. Uh, uh, okay, it's nice, nice uh, weather, nice place, and a nice company to work. So, very, very nice to be staying here. Okay, so I will talk about the probably there is uh, people far from the subject. Okay, you can stop me in any moment. At any moment, no problem to ask anything because actually the good is to, to take something of the seminar. The talk today will be related with uh, um, an space, a particular space, very special, but it's very interesting to to some geometric problems and use combinatory uh, things that are very far to the classical theory of weight. For that was the challenge. Nice time to, to study this, this problem. But to, to motivate the, the problem, the, the, the history of the weight theory, the start, uh, the, and the starting point is the Pfefferman state inequality related with the maximal function. So I will introduce the maximal function in the classical. Suppose that you have F function in L and log, local integral function. Suppose you are working in RD, okay, first. In the, in the second part of the code, we will we'll stop in that, in that specific space. But now to, to present something general, the maximal function here, instant the center involves, is defined by, like this function, like this loop, positive. Take the average of all okay, so probably all of you uh, saw some 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 in some moment this this operator is a classical auxiliary but very important operator in, in harmonic analysis. Christian <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly, Christian. <laughs> There you go. You you a lot about this 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 guy, and there is a, of course uh, it's, it's well known that is uh, satisfy some bond in LPs. For instance, if it is P equal one, it's well known that this operator satisfies this this inequality that is called. Measure that I measure here, it's a constant here that don't depend on F and lambda times the unknown of the function. And this is the weak type one one, this is called the weak type one one of the maximum function. Okay, and of course, there is a lot of variant of this operator. Instead, you consider balls, you can consider Q, rectangles, and the problem can be changed a lot. Okay, so in, 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 our, in this context, if you put boards or rectangles, they are, sorry, or cubes are essentially the same for our problem. But there is a Pfefferman Einstein. This year proof. When I, I put W, W here will be a function, suppose in this context, uh, locally, here. So, but a non negative function. But it's not necessary there. Uh, but assume this, and then you can change a little bit the measure instead to consider the level measure to put a density W. Mm -hmm. And then here, then the inequality is necessary to put M of W. Yes. And this inequality holds for every W. Okay, so this is true for every W. Of course, this is interesting if this, the function F is in L1 of this function. Okay, so this is called the Pfefferman Stein inequality and looks like a, a simple generalization of the which I one one because if W is one, it's not difficult. To see that this guy is also one, okay. So, but 
in, in the context of the theory of weight. And, and this is, is, is a is a elementary result. It's a, what do you say? It's a, even with the, the method of in the, in the setting, we can prove that this kind of result because uh, covering lemma, this is the center maximum function. So the Sikoi covering lemma, the, any variant of the standard classical covering lemma could be useful to prove this. Okay. So, of course, there is some, some question related with the, the constant C or could depend on the dimension. Okay. But anyway, this is not the point today, at, at least at the moment. And okay. So, but in the, in the weighted theory, this is one of the first results that appear in the general point of view, because this holds for everybody. There is a, a second seminal result in, that is the Mackinac result in 1972, that is the second part of the talk I will talk a, a little bit about that. But at this, this moment, and I, I want to convince you in, in five minutes that this is not only a generalization of, of the with type one, one of the maximum function, it's a really, this kind of quality for this operator is really powerful result. To, for instance, Suppose I know you have a family of function, and you want to, you can consider this uh, kind of inequality. You know, more long board is, is only to, to show one of the power of this kind of estimate. That suppose I you ask him to generalize, generalize the operator and to this family in a tensor way. So. We can consider, suppose, this guy, and we can consider the LP norm of this guy. This P, suppose, we get a one, 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 yes. This, at the moment, we consider this, and you. Consider the mixed norm, sorry, and you ask if there is a constant C, so that this is essentially we can eliminate the operator. We have a bonded estimate in LP, PQ estimate is wrong. This is, uh, if you know, it's a Marcinkiewicz Simon kind of inequalities. Okay, so mixed. Okay, so but this, this uh, here we can. When you put this essentially the same, but we don't get the other So here does not appear in any way. Okay, so this is a standard mixed inequality, LPQ inequality in a vector extension of the maximum function. Okay, so, okay, so this kind of inequality, if Q is less than P is a general result. It's, 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 it's inside of a general result by passing Q with and signal, and it's true, and you don't need nothing. Actually, because essentially the only you need that this guy, the maximum function, is not linear, it's a linear operator, but can be it's possible to linearize in, a, in some way this operator, and it's a positive operator, and with that is enough. But if in the 70s, if was the question, what about if Q is strictly bigger than P? So, and the, the, the performance stand prove this inequality to obtain that inequality. Uh, okay, so how, how we can do that? Okay, we can show this because it's five minutes and, 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 and you will understand that the, this can. This in, 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 intrinsically, this kind of system may have more, really more information. Okay, so imagine that this is the case. Q is bigger than P. Let me say that this, in this particular case, that this operator, the maximal function, we don't know, but the maximal function is a bonded operator in, in infinity. Okay, 
okay? Because it's, you can take the, the, the soup of this guy outside and then always the, the MFX will be less than the uh, N infinity norm of the function. Okay, so the N infinity norm of this guy would be less than the N infinity norm of the function. Okay, so this part, uh, there is a maybe people don't know, there is a very famous a classical result in a uh, real analysis that say that if you have interpolation result by mass inhibit, that if you have some estimate in, in one and some estimate in, in infinity, as that way we have a bonded, bonded estimate in P for P between one and infinity. Okay, so in particular, and this is result is very abstract and holds for, for every measure and a lot of things. So, okay, so this, this estimate and the observation before said that actually we have that the maximal function to the power of R, sorry, maybe R is not good. Okay. okay, so we use R. This is also true, a constant for the R dimension. And here, the other, okay, M of the this is this imply this using interpolation and this, this result and the result of any infinity. Okay, so three this result in this range and okay, so now with this observation of such assume that Q is bigger than P. So now we have that this guy is bigger than one, so I will denote u over p time the number, okay, the conjugate number of this, if you don't know, is this guy u over p uh, times q over p. Okay, so this is this guy, okay, but okay, don't worry. You're not really one thing. It's number, but only people don't know about. Okay, so, so, okay, so, uh, suppose you, you want to represent this, the econom would be appear Q over P. So this is the A Q over P norm of this guy. And then you can use duality, see, duality in, 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 this, in this exponent. And then we have that to, to calculate this norm, would be essentially consider the sum in J to the power of one because and times some G that the G will be of this property yes so there exists some g in this that this guy will be this norm, okay? Maybe I uh, forget some power in some way, but we're not really right now. Let me show the argument how this appeared. And now, okay, so now we have the we have the possibility to, to put the, the integral inside, and now we can apply p is between one and we can apply this result. Okay, and, and and then we have we pass we pass the operator to the other function, and then we have less than some constant of course depends the parameters and the estimate there, and we have here p, and here we have n g. Okay, and now we, we can use you we can uh, I forget the integral inside. Okay, so now we can remove the integral and use header, and we have the sum here, 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 the portrait, one over p. Uh, and here we have n of g. But now, this is, uh, this, no, sorry, 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 here, uh, at this, and now we use header to the power P over P, uh, Q over P, 
and then we have the integral of this guy q over p is one p over q and this we have here the integral of m g j to the power q over p prime okay the, the conjugate of this guy one over p So this, okay, this is essentially what we, we want to take here. Uh, you could put one over p, but it's necessary to put it in the left hand side. But here, observe this guy. This, uh, this, this guy appears here, the no g, the maximal function of g. Okay? And this was because we use this in estimate. But now, if you want, if, if you know that this guy is bounded, which is the case because the maximum function is bounded, we don't in the level measure in this exponent bigger than one, then we can eliminate this guy, and this is essentially one. Okay. So okay, so only a calculation to show how, for instance, from this guy we can obtain vector value estimate by three. Using okay, the property of the maximum function. So, this is one of the application in the paper. Even this appeared essentially this kind of calculation appeared in the, in the paper by Fermat and Stein. But there is in this idea something if you know about the, I will not about uh, I speak about the extrapolation with the theory because it is specifically thing, but. Is the starting point in extrapolation theory. Extrapolation theory is said essentially something like this. There is a class of weight, call it, suppose, suppose, suppose you, I would say only this word. Suppose I don't put this, because maybe it will be relevant by a requirement of <laughs> some, some names. Okay, so this is a one, a one way. Okay, so satisfy that the maximal function is controlled in general by differentiation of x theorem. We know that the function will be controlled, uh, the maximum, the, the function will be controlled by the, the, the maximal function. But if we have the, the, the other side inequality essentially comparable, this is a one way. This class of weight is, is nice, it's very, very good. There is no trigger weight lines. I mean, there is no only constant. There is a, this kind of in dimension n, this kind of guy. And it's like this is okay, so but okay, so don't worry if you don't know about that. But this is the, the, the important thing is that this, if you have for instance, this inequality is true because it's a it's, it's a it's a consequence of this inequality. I can put here this guy, the con this constant here, and here the same way. So this the inequality. In fact, this is a characterization. This kind of way satisfy this, and if the, this inequality holds, W must be satisfied that, that condition. So this is the, the A1 way to satisfy this, this condition. And extrapolation in particular is more general. So extrapolation said, 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 said that if you have this inequality for every weight in A1, then you can pass to every P from that way. With every, with every weight in AP, and in particular, the level measure is in AP. This is it's not necessary to have the, the, the other uh, endpoint, okay? To, to interpolation, extrapolation, okay? But you need this inequality for every weight in AP, and then you can pass. This is a very, very nice result to the two Rubio de France. But the starting point, the starting point, Sorry, who we are the France? Okay? The weights to be positive. The weights to be positive, or you said all. The operator? No, the weight, yes, the weight must be positive, no negative function. Yes, yes, yes. In LP, so not all. You are saying only for non negative weights. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, non negative weight. Because are positive operator, non negative weight. No good in there. The measure must be non negative. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is the side. It's by it's due to Rubio de Francia, but in 
my point of view, the starting point of this result is in this paper by the person. Okay, so, okay, so this is only to motivate that why performance state inequality would be nice. And of course, we can, we can, share yes, yes. You can characterize this data in one way using like other kinds of operator, yes, maximum operators. For example, if I change the basis of differentiation from balls to, to some nice retardants, is the same class or not? Uh, every, uh, for every uh, complex, essentially, if you can use cube or convex uh, symmetric, Will be essentially the same. You mean yes, or right. Okay. If you put to rectangles, no. Okay. It's completely different. It's really stronger. In fact, the, you know, the, 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 no, no, it's completely different. But if you fix uh, reasonable in the sense that the, the, the set is in between two cubes or two walls, it will be the same. Will constant dependent on the dimension, but will be essentially the same. Okay, but uh, um, this is a, there is two, two, possi two possibilities, but there is a lot, but there is at least two possible generalization of this inequality. I will, I will, I want to try to send this around, I want you to understand that this guy is no star. Okay, no, maybe this, okay, this guy. This inequality here. Okay, so to understand here, let me see. Some. So, okay, there are at least two. One of them is okay. Why? Here, here must be. If you does not affect this guy, must be. You need. If you want to put the the, the same way. You need a condition, okay? So I, this is a general result you can put everywhere. But if you want to recover this, the same measure here, you need a condition that is a strong condition. Okay, so, but okay, so now we got, this is called two weight estimate because we have a weight here and appear the other way here. Okay, so, but okay, so we can reduce to uh, one. They want a one one weight estimate if you have some condition. Okay, so at first, very natural extension of this kind of result is change of rate. Why? Why is is always is if you put here in, instead of n? What about if you put a singular, more singular, for example, a given number? Okay, or we we put the square function, or in other context, another endpoint estimate of computators, square function, a, a lot of different operators around the classical stuff are possible to, to ask the same question. Okay, so, okay, but always leaving here the operator n or to put another, to put another positive, a positive uh, eventually bigger operator there is a lot of variant of this kind of problem. A lot, a lot. I'm sorry, but it's impossible to mention. There is, there is a lot of. So why we mention some some variant that uh, I was uh, working with Elena Carlos Perez a long time ago, um, and was calling the 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 the, the, Hilbert, the if we put he, the Hilbert function, the the Hilbert operator, but this is not the don't worry, I will not cut any calculation about this. So forget this. If you don't know the, the, the definition of the Hilbert transform, don't worry. It's a more singular operator. So if you ask this inequality, okay, this inequality was disproved by Regera and Tine in 2010. So this is called the Mackenhoff within conjecture. In a, in, a, in a meeting of the time ago, Mackenhoff proposed this question. And this is not true. Positive result is, is put some, some bigger operator, for instance, the maximum of the maximum functions on the iteration. Of, there is a, a lot of reserve related with it. N5, if you know about it, 5, 5 could be placed, 5 is T would be the maximum function. 
is to put five something a little bigger. This yeah, is yeah. a young. Okay, so but okay, there is a lot of result. The best number. So what result was in the, in the night it was by Carlos Pence put L L to log L to some power epsilon bigger than, than zero. But this was improved in 2015 by uh, Ray uh, Lacey, Michael Lacey, Ray and uh, Domingo Sanzal. And it's possible to put T log log T to about one plus S. Okay, so there is a lot. Okay, so it's a, it's a funny history, but okay, so there is a variant of the result that is called the A1 conjecture. A1 conjecture looks very easy, but this is true for the maximum function. I have proven yet uh, using the when I say inequality before. But okay, so imagine that you have this inequality is, is, is weaker than the previous one if you put W and W. But now I am saying that we have the condition A1, because it's, if not, this is in, infinite. And then what about this question? Okay, so it looks like a, okay, so what is the question here? Is that the dependency of this constant with the linear? This is a question. Okay, so why this question is interesting when in 2008, 9, we was working with Carlos and Andre. And in that moment, we was motivated with this question because this question is motivated, is related with the, the, the problem that is called A2 conjecture that was proven by, by Daytonian in 2012. That Said that the, this guy, actually, no, this guy, this guy was proved by Peter Michel. Any Calderon signal with good regularity, the, the linear growth in the L2 estimate that also holds is linear. And this is was related with, with the snow about conformal, uh, the Trami equation, regularity, and it's, it's related with a, a lot of things. But okay, so if we prove that by extrapolation, as working a little bit with, we could obtain the A2 conjecture. And if we will prove this guy, we will prove the Magica Willis conjecture that in that moment was also the question. Okay, so after we get into the proof that then the spoon, the, the strong was. Okay, so in that moment, we obtained low, low, this guy. Okay, so this is a, a little story. In a, so, T log, log T. This was proven by Carlos, uh, Andre, and me in 2010. Okay, so, uh, so what was proven is right in the moment when we, we, saw, we, we saw that this result would be not sharp. Okay, so I think we can remove this. Though. Uh, and <laughs> let, let, let me know earlier. I think that it was early. Okay, okay, so what? Uh, later, Nazarov uh, 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 Resnikov, Basuni, and Borber proved that actually for the some non necessary the kilo trapper, but one over three will be necessary. A lot. So the, the weak microphone machine was not true. Something uh, was open uh, sometime if it's really possible to put something smaller than one. And it's not possible because this is true. And this was proven more recently by Casaro. Okay, so look, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now, but this is a. Uh, okay, okay. Now, there is a very interesting problem related with chain the operator here, commutator that is uh, Israel also the result that I will mention today is, is now uh, there is there is several problems related with chain the operator and also chain the operator. Okay, so okay, this is uh, associated with the government state inequality and and the motivation today is not the change the operator, it's change the domain. Okay. So what's about again? Constant. 
So, so you have this inequality. So now, space. Okay, so this is very general, impossible question, but because it's even for metric measure spaces, is now now when we have even the weak type one one. We don't we don't wait. So in some in some metric measure space, that's it's unknown. So but our 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 interest will be exactly this if our guy x is this one. Okay, so uh, and first to, to the, define the, the, the metric and the, the measure in, in, the, in this script set, I, I will mention why we were study that, that problem. Let me see the term. Okay, four steps. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, okay, very nice. Okay, so. Of course, you can define the, this guy. Okay, I would say that here because it's not B. Suppose you have an X, E, U, a metric measure space. You see in the sigma algebra there, and we can define this guy. Okay, so this is the definition. As I said, uh, uh, you need some geometric property to prove this kind of things, mm -hmm. even with, with our book weights. Okay, it's not, it's not so easy to, even it's very easy to, to construct it, even in that discrete uh, example of this guy, this, this, this operator would be very bad. Okay, so but let me let me mention two results that mot motivate us. That one is a result by right now. Okay. Say we put something here because it will be relevant. We prove that if X metric measure space satisfies what is called the N mi micro probably that is. Doubling, doubling condition, doubling condition, if you never look at it. Meaning that we have in, in that space the measure of the ball. The double right radio is controlled by some constant. Measure of the ball. This is double measure implied, uh, even this is one. The, the condition by this because because it's possible to, to have can cover the lemma. Okay, so but any micro doubling condition means okay, it's relevant that here one plus one over n of the radio but depend on n is controlled by a constant that don't depend on nothing. The measure actually, I will say something uh, because strong is you put here any y inside of, of the original ball, but the radio will be. 
are the same. So this is a strong degradable condition. With this condition, they prove this is important. And N is this end. Okay? And this is an interesting, okay, of course, it's very interesting result. But this, for instance, I cover in, in, in a, there is a result of Stromberg and Stein long time ago that said that this is the quality for the here is possible to put suppose the dimension is big, okay? And then this 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 uh, this is this is true. This is uh, this is nothing. Okay, so if, if you consider more, I think that also in the same paper or, or close to that paper, this no computer. But if you consider mm -hmm. another another norms, eh? if you wait. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, you're right. This is a direct measure. No. No, no, no. This is, no. Okay, so, but this is, the, so, in particular, if you consider RD, uh, this was all recovered, this was a, but actually, they prove, uh, okay, so, uh, to, to say something really more general, for instance, uh, if you know about, if you know, for instance, there is, this is a result. This point, can you iterate this? So if a function, if a measure is n micro doubling, it's doubling, no? No, 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 no. Because, because, is, no, because you have, for instance, imagine you have, I do this a uh, few times so that uh, one plus one over n to the k, but as is two, you're gonna have a constant that depends on. No, but we is depend is here, we depend on n, you can iterate. So this is the point. Yes. It's a little bit. No, it's it's not. It's so other n is fixed, right? I mean, you fix it. Fix but n. c must be not depend on n. Yes, I know. So fix an n of your choice, say three. Okay, and then you have the ball radius x and four thirds r less than the universal constant times that. You apply this twice, you get four thirds square less than the constant universal square. Four thirds square is how much? At some point, you get something bigger than two. No, maybe three times. Four thirds cube, you get something bigger than two. And okay, then so you get a C cube. And then, but C was universal. And, and, and so, okay, I, I, will ask, I will answer quickly. Huh? Suppose that you have alpha and maybe regular n. This means that you can measure parametric displacement, the measure of the is similar to two power n. This this guy satisfy the condition. So this was proven by now, and and, the, and some of these guys, the, the measure is not of oh, because the constant. Okay, so could be some constant that depend on n that uh, satisfy. But this is the point. Then then here, the, the estimate will will be will be changed. Okay, so will be no n log n. This is the point. You. This is. The, 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 it's possible that you obtain something, some constant here depending on that. Of course, we should. Yes, you're right. But this, this is not enough to say that we have this sharpest. Okay, this is the point. Okay, so, but in particular, this, this kind of space, this kind of space, satisfies this. So, this theorem is, can be applied to this guy. And then, if you have this, this is not the have no relation with the dimension. Okay, so this could be a very small set inside of R D. Okay, so but they also prove that if you fix in here, 
But it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Uh, the result is sharp in the sense that they prove that big a and bigger than equal to then there exists there exists ah I, Nice. Uh, is that L, L1 norm, weak, weak L1 norm. Okay, so this means that uh, actually it's impossible to obtain with, with this. Condition is impossible to obtain something. Okay, so and they mentioned that they actually seems that when you your your doubling or micro doubling or weak doubling condition uh, go to grow up, seems that in a metric space the weak type one one could be could be close. However, they recover the following result that is our, our, inter our interesting result in the, in the talk today. That's okay. this guy, I will call this guy P. Uh, suppose here K, K equal to TK. This is the the root k3 mean is a graph, okay? Root, a root, where is a k equal to two children, each children, two children, okay? Take k, k will be k children, uh, each children, k children. This is associated with the three groups, the order k plus one, but okay, so here you can put very simple measure and, and distance. The distance will be take this guy and, and this and the distance will be the, the number will be a, a natural of zero natural number of zero that will be the number of edges to go to from x there is a, a unique but in that case so in that case is four so this is the distance and the measure will be the contact measure okay intensity one in each vertex okay so this is the, our 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 uh, metric measure space, then now I'm done proof that, okay, I will, I will not, I'm not clear new uh, in that way because it's essentially the graph, people in graph theory say the level measure should be this content measure, but okay. So, okay, so they prove that I will be great here, but actually I forget, yeah, I forget always I I, I, okay, this is very important that k is bigger than equal to. If not, uh, it's very easy the space because it's, it's one is is a doubling, doubling metric pressure space. So they prove that the maximum function is with type one one. Okay, the notation here will be the mu, the mu, but let me let me not this in that way. But it's, I mean, the measure that I consider is the contact measure. Okay, okay. So, what is the interesting point is that this guy, this guy, does not depend. Oh, we can. Take every k and, and observe for the following. So, as I said, the measure here, suppose it's very easy to check that this is a, a, a natural number, okay, or zero, because uh, 
have density in each point. This is essentially, okay, so depend if the, if the root or, or the guy x will be k to the power r. Okay, so imagine you 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 move a little bit r in an gesture uh, way, you lost a lot of okay. so it's very very it's completely absence of learning condition, any learning condition, and make that quick that so it's very exponential spectral place, okay, in a, okay. So this is that that in that point of view is very far of a, of a a kind of double measure matrix space. So, however, the proof, okay, they recover, let me say, they recover because this paper is 2010 and they was motivated that to, to show an example that actually would, he was thinking, he were thinking before was not correct in that sense that it's not, uh, could be a very bad uh, behavior of the respect to the doubling. The doubling behavior of the measure, doubling, doubling property, however, the weak type could, could be true. Okay, so this is for, so I saw this, this result and I say, okay, to people in my university, or so I that is over there or not? Maybe it's sleeping in Israel, it's sleeping. <laughs> Israel and Martin Safe that is working in graphs and, and Israel was postdoc now is in Malaga and taking up. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we was interested to say, okay, what's about to prove a performance state inequality in our frame? Okay. Will be true or not? Okay, so, okay, so it's not possible, but how, how okay, so I, I, I'm sorry that uh, it's important that this result can be obtained by a long time Now I'm not covering this result. We don't, we don't know this paper, but Cody, Cody Meta. Simultaneously, independently, now I'm I'm Tao and Cody Meta City found a geometric proof of this. Observe to tell that, that appear that in the paper that that actually can be the use for the result or the result. That you um, okay, so I really we 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 know the the, the proof the tail of the proof by now tau that is combinatorial. Nice, very nice proof. Combinatorial use combinatorial and symmetric. Of this guy. Okay, so okay, so uh, as I said uh, in the beginning, it was a, a a nice challenge to to okay. There is no possibility to use any common lemma, any variant. Who could try to to change the measure and and change the density? And it's possible to obtain this or not. Okay, so I will present the result. So this is said uh, Martin, Rafael, Dios, Israel, Quality is true, I would say. X to the 
C S a weaker, a little weaker result. MS MS is calculate the S average, okay, so S is the general one. So this, this operator in general is bigger than, if you consider S equal, in general it's, it's bigger. So, okay, so this guy, you know, we're proof, but actually no, must be the case. Go, only depend on S, but not depend on K, but go to infinity when it's going to and this is not no a problem. Okay, so you know what we mean? So you understand that the MS is, is you you win a little bit of integrability. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bigger operator. So it's, it's even bigger that iteration of the maximum function. In fact, we also prove that this is essentially sharp because it's not possible to put fix n. number and it's not possible to put this is there exists a sequence of functions that shape and await await so that This shape go to infinity from the shape into infinity. This means that it's not possible to put W MN of W for any iteration of the massive energy. Okay, so essentially it's necessary to have a little bit more integrity. Okay, so okay, so this is very singular. The maximum function this show, okay, so it's very surprising that uh, not, that. Uh, all people that I mentioned before, proof we would take one one with constant independent on K, but in any, in any case, is the space is very singular because the maximum functions, it's not possible to, for instance, in the classical case, as I said, here a lot of singular operators, it is possible, for instance, to put two iterations, M of M, of course, the mess also, but here for the maximum function, the second maximum, which is not possible to put M substitute. <laughs> so this is a completely okay. We, okay, we was lucky that we were lucky that uh, actually we can find the center to this point because in that case, because maybe it could be a problem of the overproof the, the that appears, but no. Okay, so okay, so. There is also several results in, in, the, in the case P bigger than one respect to the weighted theory, but the, okay, so if I can, I, I can mention later about that, because it, each P is different. It, it's the same, the same, but of course it's not a P condition, the typical, the classical AP condition is completely far to characterize, but completely far. But there, there are some conditions that if I have time, it is also not fine. No, no, okay. So, so let me say only, no, I will not uh, talk about the AP, but there is a, 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 some results for P bigger than one, the, the paper that we have with Israel. Uh, um, but let me, let me, let me say only some, some things in five minutes. Ah, there is also, I don't want to, I want, I, one forget that there is some recent result of fractional operator in this context uh, by Kosan and Sekir, Rela, you know him. Um, there is also some uh, a PhD student, Emmanuel, 
¿Puedo ver, Emanuel? No. Es, 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 está en, de, en línea variante. Es, es guy, es contest. And, ok, so, you know, only need to, to mention a, a very nice estimate that suppose suppose that E and F are two set in P. I will, I will I will forget about K because but we are stopping in take K. Okay, so this and this this belongs to measure. Okay, so so that a restriction that that you guys there we, we have the product measure here with ah uh, sorry not two plus it's an error. An R and a natural number, and then I want to output this symmetric identity. Okay, okay, it's related to PK over two, with the measure P, and what, and the measure F. So this, this is and the, the, the part of Points that is in X and F and in E and F, and the distance between them is R. Okay, okay, so it's easy to check for instance, fix, fix one set E. Okay, so who is the who is the the possibility to all all point here? Okay, the R to the power K because the complete wall will be given that for every point is uh, to distance. Okay, so. In general, it's very easy to check that this measure is less than this guy, and in, in the same way, F. So, it's very easy to check this. However, this is sharp, sharpness, <laughs> Manuel, <laughs> sharpness, <laughs> you know. <laughs> They mentioned you sharp guy. Okay, yeah. so uh, <laughs> we, we can edit the, this part, no? <laughs> okay, so this is a this is a uh, this is very nice in the sense that here this guy here taking this is okay ten. This guy R is pretty big, but R over two is really smaller than this guy. Okay, so. In, 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 in fact, if you have two walls, essentially of the same measure, and you have the same measure here, we have one of these guys that are similar and k to the power r over two, and here we have k to the power r. So really, this estimate is, is in fact, is sharp. And this estimate, this estimate is related, I forgot that, but it's, it's related with the which is the, the, the situation in the restrict with that estimate for, for set, for set E, suppose that you are treating the average, AR is the average, this is the advanced, something like this, and then the point is that in general, this guy would be supposed to estimate the guy because the maximum function is, is with that. One one then would be also with that one one. However, this kind of estimate allowed to have a good decay in the constant with respect to R. Even R, and this is the key. Okay, so our our main work was to hold to because our proof followed the, the, the general idea of power and tau. But the, the point is how to introduce. And, and, and we, even that we have, we don't have the, the symmetry in the way. And okay, so let me mention this and finish that is possible. Okay, so I will, I will denote this, this slide. Okay, Put the density in the second variable, okay, and then it's possible to prove 
He said, can we estimate a constant? Okay, over R, here is prime, is prime plus one, U is Thank you, Shirley, for a very nice talk. Uh, so, any questions or comments 